I need to talk about the Nintendo one because I'm I'm still in shock by what I've seen in a good way in a good way don't worry so I'm just gonna do a quick fire of everything if you didn't watch it I recommend you watch it because it's an experience and a half we were introduced to the Smash Bros characters the hero and Banjo Kazooie I'm let's leave Banjo Kazooie to the leave him a bit the hero lovely name uh, I guess it's to ac accommodate all the other skins of heroes from previous Dragon Quest games alongside the Dragon Quest game that is coming to Switch, which is Dragon Quest XI, uh, uh, which is also very exciting. Um, but interesting character, it's another swordsman, so I don't really care too much. But it's another rep from another game, at least not Fire Emblem, so I'm happy with that. Okay, now Banjo-Kazooie's back. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about that. I, I was one of the people who were on board with Banjo Kazooie, and we're getting music from Grant Kirkhope, one of my favourite composers. So, you know, it was a great reveal. You know, it. We, we've got Banjo Kazooie now. Let's just, let's just keep it at that. <laughs> Moving on, we've got Luigi's Mansion Three. Um, yeah looks much better than when we were shown it last year to be and it just looks vibrant animated luigi just looks full of character as usual guigi wasn't expecting him to make a return from the remake of the first game on 3ds that's was not expecting that but the game looks brilliant um one thing i noticed was in the reveal of egad we saw b1 in the in the top left corner I believe it'll be on screen now um, that seems to indicate mission modes back sounds like the name of a level not too happy about that because it, missions were meant to be so you could play on the 3ds so you didn't have to keep loading the whole whole game in one go so I'm not too sure about that Pokemon Sword and Shield not really shown a lot one thing that came out of E3 is the fact that we can't even put our old Pokemon in, uh, unless a set, a, apart from a set few that are already in the game. So that's complete crap. Um, Nintendo needs to sort that out. They're gonna have to sort that out because people will boycott the game. Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening it looks vibrant as ever. Oh my god, it looks so tasty. By tasty, I mean tasty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hyped for that, you know, I'm I'm a sucker for that art style because it reminds me so much of another dungeon crawler, Tunic, um, which I'm hyped for, but you've got it in the form of Zelda now, so I'm even more hyped. So, Z Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, very nice. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order, um, I, I'm neutral on it, looks interesting, looks better than when they first showed it off because it just looked like the typical boring superhero game, lovely, it looks much better now and it's a Switch exclusive so very very happy about that. Astral Chain, oh my god, it does not look like a Switch game, how that's gonna run? I don't know, but they've clearly made it work because from the gameplay we got, I didn't really see any frame rate drops, which is which is shocking. But platinum games, you know, keeping it good, keeping it good. I'm interested in it. I don't know how good it will do because it's a new IP, but 
you know what, I don't care. It looks good. Mario Maker 2, you know, barely showed anything. Um, it's coming out. Hype. Hooray. Animal Crossing's New Horizons. Animal Crossing. Um, yeah. Oh my god, it looks brilliant. It looks so good. It's the concept of an island. You're rebuilding the island. So, I'm trying to go through this as quick as possible, by the way. But, yeah. Looks good. Amazing. Tom Nook is a bitch as always. But, looks brilliant. Um, one, one thing... 2020, March 20, 2020. Mm, really? That's three months into 2019. I guess it's not too big of a dr drop. They could have announced it to be June next year. I, then that, then there would have been an issue. But um, I think it's good. I think you know when they need to take the time, it shows that they care about the game and they don't want to rush it. Everything good. Fire Emblem Three Houses launched the day before my birthday. Um, I'm not going to be getting it, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm, it's interesting. Interesting, another RPG. No More Heroes Three. Now, oh my God! Like Nintendo need to calm down with the big reveals. Like I'm slowly starting to <laughs> melt away. No More Heroes Three, man. Travis Strikes Again did not do well at all. So it's great to see that they've actually pulled through with three. Hype, hype, hype. Witcher 3! That was like a 80, not even, it was like a 15 second trailer. And they, and, they, and I just saw the trailer, at the, and I just saw the logo at the end. And I was like, oh my god. It looks rough around the edges, but I reckon it'll probably... They'll fix, they'll polish it up a bit before the release. 